Good afternoon, YouTube. JT Serenity Farms prepping here. So, the second lockdown is coming. Doesn't matter why it's coming, it's coming. Chicago has already locked down for the next 30 days. Air Como in New York is going to lock us down next week. A lot of your other cesspool, libtard states are going to follow suit. Is it really because there's a second wave coming? Not in my opinion. It's all about the corruption, the treason, the fraud, and the cheating that's being exposed daily concerning the election. They need everyone to be kept in their homes. What better way than to create a fake second wave? Everyone's on their computers. Now they're getting nothing but fake news. Unless it said you got to start hitting Newsmax and OAN and other conservative stations. So, unfortunately, irregardless of we know it's a, another scam lockdown, but already major stores are starting to post signs rationing everything that you are going to need. Toilet paper, hand sanitizers, handy wipes, meat, everything is going to be rationed. And we were already getting ready to experience a food shortage and other products. So, as much as I hate to say it, you need to get out there and start stocking up on all the usual items. But as preppers, you should have been doing that steadily right through this whole thing anyway. So how do we know it's a scam besides the fact that we think for ourselves and we've known it's a scam since last March? Well, there's plenty of doctors coming out slamming Comrade Fauci and Bill Depopulation Gates just came out and said that COVID would be over by 2021, the end of 2021. Well, we're not even in 2021 yet. Are you prepared to do this bullshit for another year? Now, think about for a minute all the unconstitutional, dictatorial, tyrannical edicts that have put been put down by socialist mayors and governors throughout the U.S., all the major corporations that are bowing down and going right along with this. Think about the restrictions and the trampling of your constitutional rights. Do you think if this continues for another year that any of these restrictions will ever go away? Does the government ever institute anything for the sake of the folks and then reverse it and remove it when a supposed emergency has passed? No. No, they don't. So, still, all the numbers you hear are fake. All the numbers about hospitals being filled to the brim and ICUs overloaded and can't take more patients and positive cases throughout the country. Well, there may be more positive tests, but the test is still being maligned by anyone with real knowledge about testing. ICUs, they're not filled. They laid off staff because no one was getting sick. So if you have a 10-bed unit and you fill three beds, 
you're filled because you have no staff. You're not filled because people are sick. They're going to keep plugging the mass hysteria because they know half the idiots in this country swallow the crap whole. They need complete control. We all know by now, based on all the evidence coming out with the election, that the vid was part of the plan in order for the left to complete their mail-in voter fraud and cheating. But, despite everything we know, there's a couple things you have to do. You have to prepare, which means stocking up on more food, water, self-defense, ammo, medicine, supplies, tools, and how much more are we going to take? Okay, you need to keep stocking up because once this election is all worked out and President Trump is re-elected, we already know what's coming. There's going to be a time period where many cities are going to be locked down. On the other hand, how much more are we going to take before we stand up and say no more? Masks don't work. Six foot doesn't work. Nothing works because this isn't a deadly disease like they want you to believe. The death rates from zero to 50 years old are minuscule. The odds are 99.9 something for every age group up to about 60 years old. You folks that are elderly or with compromised immune systems, stay home. But we have to deal with the tyrannical mayors and governors and corporations that are trampling on our rights. How much more are we going to take? Like, share, subscribe, comment, notification bell. For now, JT, signing off.